Hi, I'm Liz Sneddon. Let's have a look at question 3a part 1 for the 2017 level 2 probability exam. So here is our question. It's about salmon and we're told about male salmon and they have weights that are normally distributed approximately and it's got a mean of 4,125 grams and a standard deviation of 65 grams. So before I go and do anything else, you can see how I've got a little normal distribution diagram below. I always, always, always draw myself that diagram. So I'm going to put on that diagram with our mean of 4,125 grams and our standard deviation of 65 grams. Okay, now I'll have a look at the question. So the question says, find the chance that a randomly selected male will weigh between 4,125 grams and 4,200 grams. Okay, so 4,125, well that's right where our mean is in the middle, so that's convenient. And then 4,200, well we know this is our bottom axis there, we know zero is way down there somewhere, and they know the numbers are getting bigger as we go across. So 4,200 is above the mean. So I'm going to draw myself another little line here. Oh, possibly. I'm going to draw a little line there. And that is going to be at 4,200. And because I want to, look, the question says weighing between them, I'm going to shade in the area between. So there's two ways that I can calculate this. I can either go to my graphics calculator or I can go to the normal probability table. So we'll go through both of those methods. So first of all, let's start with looking at our graphics calculator and find our answer. First of all, go to our menu button and we're going to go into stats mode. So I'm just going to go the arrow across and then press the execute button and now I get the screen and I've got this distribution showing here across the bottom of the window. So I'm going to press F5. I want the normal distribution, so I'm going to press F1. And now I want the NCD, which will give me the screen here. So we have, we want the probability between 4,125, so that's my lower, and my upper value is 4,200. I've got a standard deviation. Oh, let's try that again. I've got a standard deviation of 65, and I've got a mean of 4,125. And then I'm going to press my execute button, and that takes me to the probability here of 0 0.37571837. So that's the value we want to use. Now let's have a look at going through the same process but with our normal distribution tables instead. So you'll notice I've got the lovely diagram there at the top. So this is our x distribution and that's got that mean there of 4125. I'm going to add another line there for our 4200 and shade that area in between. What I need to do is the distribution down below is a Z distribution, which is where the tables come in. Now that Z distribution has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. So in terms of that probability, I've got so I've got my line there for my mean, and I'm going to draw my other oh, line further up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade that area between and I need to find this Z value here, that that Z value is equivalent to the 4200, so that those probabilities are the same. So that's what I want to find a match up. So to do that, to convert from that to that, I need to use my Z formula. Z equals X minus the mean over the standard deviation. That's either at the top of the table there, or it's on the formula sheet separately. So my x value, there's my 4,200, minus the mean, 4,125, divided by our standard deviation of 65, and that gives me a value of 1.154. So that is my z value, 1.154.
Okay. So on my table of values, all of these numbers in here are the probabilities. All the numbers around the outside are the z values. So I'm going to start by looking up z of 1.1. So I'm going to come down the side here to find the value of 1.1. And there is my 1.1. And I want to look across that row of values. Probably not all that all the way across. Now my second decimal place is a 5. So I'm going to go across this top section here to the value of 5 and I'm going to look where these match up. And so you can see there that that gives us a value so far of 0.3749. Okay, I'm not quite finished yet. I now need to find my third decimal place is a 4. So that's this difference section on the side here. And so that third decimal place is a 4, so I'm going to go to that difference of 4, and I'm going to match those up. And you can see that that matches up to a value there of 8. Okay, so that's what I need to put together. So in terms of my probability, I've got this value of 0.3749. And I've got a difference there of 8. So that's my last decimal place. I'm going to add that together. 9 plus 8 is 17. 5, 7, 3. So there is my probability of 0 0.3757. And that, getting to that answer gets us our achieved score. Thanks for watching. Feel free to visit my website for more information. Or there's a link there to subscribe to my channel um, and there's also a link there to the playlist of more videos going through exam questions for this particular exam.